If you thought Memphis was only known for Elvis and barbecue, guess again. This is a place that mixes historic charm with a modern mentality. There's something for everyone here, even vegans. Here are my top 15 favorite things to do in the city of Memphis. Welcome to M-Town, Memphis, Tennessee. Hey! 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 <laughs> One, cruise around Memphis in style with rockabilly rides. I pretty much felt like a celebrity in his dreamy 1955 Plymouth Belvedere. Okay, hello. Apparently this is my ride for the tour. How cute is this? We got so many looks, and for good reason. I mean, just look at this bad boy. This tour will make you feel like you're going back into time as you explore the rich musical past of Memphis. They offer several private experiences, but I did the Red Hot and Blue Tour, which let me relive the early days of Elvis before and during his rise to fame. Two, visit the legendary Sun Studio. Now this place has the claim of being the birthplace of rock and roll. You'll stand in the same place where music legends like Elvis, B.B. King, and Johnny Cash recorded some major hits. They do 45 minute tours every day between the hours of 10 and 6. 3. Go to the Stax Museum of American Soul. Now if you want to experience the studio that's pretty much synonymous with Southern Soul music, then Stax is where you want to go. Stax Legends includes Isaac Hayes and Otis Redding, who sang one of my favorite songs, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay. 4. Hit up Beale Street. All this summer until September, you can experience bike nights on Beale. Every Wednesday night, thousands of motorcycle enthusiasts descend on the area, and you can watch them cruise by you on America's most iconic street. Honestly, no matter what night you go on Beale Street, it's always poppin'. 5. Experience live music. If you can't tell by now from this video, Memphis is all about the music. And remember Brad from Rockabilly Rides? Turns out he's also a musician. So he invited me out to hear him perform live at Blue City where he killed it. The man really knows how to work an audience, y'all. Hey, thank you so much, guys. Wow. Six, the Peabody Rooftop Party. Beale Street isn't the only place to hit up at night. Summertime is rooftop party season at the Peabody Hotel. So if you like a good party with live music, then the Peabody is where you need to be at on a Thursday night. Seven, stay at the Peabody. On top of throwing the best rooftop party, it's actually one of the most famous hotels in Memphis. It's a luxury hotel with old school charm, and it's even a part of the historic hotels of America, making this more than just a hotel, but an important Memphis landmark. Oh, and they have this really big obsession with ducks. Like, really big. Which brings me to number eight. Watch the Peabody Ducks. You don't have to be a hotel guest to see the number one thing that the Peabody is famous for. It's Daily Duck March. Meet the most pampered ducks in Tennessee. Every morning at 11, they march down to the hotel lobby fountain where they play all day, and then at 5 p.m. they march right back on up to their rooftop palace. Nine, rent a bike. Memphis unleashed a very new bike share program, like literally the day that I arrived here. So I'm super stoked because you guys know I like to stay active when I travel, and I'm super excited to try this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on one of these and take it around. They have bike stations all over the city, and they're super simple to use. Okay, so first things first, you basically download the Bicycle app, and then it's gonna ask you to log in, and you would tap this screen to find out the code of the bike that you wanna unlock, and then you enter that code into here, and it unlocks the bike, and then you can start riding it. 10, walk to Arkansas. Did you know that Memphis is just a hop, skip, and a jump away from the state of Arkansas? Yeah, you can literally walk across the Big River Crossing, the longest pedestrian bridge across the Mississippi River. 11. Hang out at the Crosstown Concourse. The building was constructed in 1927 as a Sears distribution center, but then shut down in the 90s as a result of the decline in the mail order business. Years later, it was transformed into what you see today a mixed-use vertical urban village. I came here at least twice to stuff my face and also to walk around and admire the art. 12. Walk around the Broad Avenue Arts District. Where my art love is at, this one's for you. It's filled with over 70 locally owned businesses like boutique shops, art galleries, bars, cool stuff like that. 
I was able to duck into this artsy looking bar that was literally called The Liquor Store, where I simply asked for their most Instagrammable cocktail and voila, it didn't disappoint. After grabbing a drink, I walked in and out of all these cute little shops and I swear everything just spoke to my soul. Like this, and this. Oh yeah, both of these two. Oh yeah, definitely this. Although this is me 90% of the time. 13, explore Overton Square. Okay, so welcome to Midtown Memphis. Food lovers and art lovers alike are going to love this place. And you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, that I love art, and this is where it's all at. <laughs> Not only can you sign up for an art tour here, you can also eat to your heart's content at the huge variety of restaurants they have in the area. 14, eat good food. While we're on the topic of good restaurants, can I just say I ate so good in Memphis. While a lot of people come here ready to devour barbecue, I ended up dining at a ton of vegan and vegan-friendly joints, which I'll be gushing about in a separate video that'll be all about the amazing vegan food scene in Memphis. And finally, 15, visit the National Civil Rights Museum. Gloria from the blog Abroad wrote an amazing piece about her experience here and it inspired me to visit as well. The museum will guide you through five centuries of history, from the beginning of the resistance during slavery, all the way to the events of the late 20th century that inspired people all around the world to stand up for equality. Want to see more of my travel guides? Be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next flight.